Hey friends, welcome to the latest episode of Hot News. We're gonna be going over the latest tech news that's been happening in the world. So why don't you hit the like button, get subscribed and settle in for the greatest tech news you've ever seen in your entire life. And by that, I mean the worst tech news you've seen in your entire life because we've got new details coming out about how the Nvidia stock shortage may indeed be getting worse. This is a report that is coming out of Europe with regards to their expectations to being able to fulfill orders over Q1, which should end sometime in March. So according to this recent retailer alternate who's in Germany. They said that they spoke with Nvidia about availability through the first quarter and that it's it's not great. Essentially, the RTX 3090 is going to have very few deliveries, but hardly anybody's trying to get that one. The RTX 3080 has very few cards coming in with a lot of open orders. 3070, few cards coming in, but a few open orders, whereas the 3060 Ti has very few cards coming in a moderately high amount of open orders. So essentially, if you wanted an RTX 3080 or 3060 Ti, Good luck! That's essentially what it's going to come down to because, you know, whether it's production delays or miners snapping up everything that you could possibly get your hands on, it seems like the GPUs that everybody wanted to get their hands on are the ones that are gonna be hardest to come by. So just buckle in, wait longer, and just deal with the shortage as it's happening, which might be getting worse due to some factors such as people are buying RTX 30 laptops and mining Ethereum. So this is a speculative report. I wouldn't necessarily uh, take this with anything but a grain of salt, especially since we've seen this before, where people are like, look at all these miners who have 3080s before they're even released. And it turns out it was just a validation facility at a GPU manufacturer, so it wasn't actually miners who did it. This kind of gives me the same vibe, although it's entirely possible, but you can see here that they are running a ton of laptops. And according to the report, it, they're mining Ethereum and just trying to make that sweet, sweet crypto cash, which in case you're interested in why Bitcoin's been spiking, get subscribed. We have another episode of Hot News coming later today where we're going to address exactly that. But also with that, there was apparently another report showing that people with an RTX 30 series laptop went to a Starbucks and were able to mine enough Ethereum to pay for the cup of coffee while they were there. Awesome. We're at that phase, folks. Mining is back. GPUs are not. Life comes in a circle. Which, I mean, while we have GPU shortages rampaging everywhere, I think Nvidia is finding it fit to release another one. The RTX 3060 slated to launch on February 25th. That is apparently the new release date that is being reported from WCCF Tech, with some customers even able to pick up their cards in person and unbox them, as you can see with this RTX 3060 Eagle OC. So, shortage? What shortage? Let's just release more cards nobody can buy. It's the perfect storm of not, not, there's, it's not even a, there's, it's like a, it's a storm that doesn't exist. I got nothing. That took way too long for me to come up with no joke. And it's also taking AMD way too long to come out with their DLSS competitor. DLSS, in case you're not familiar, is deep learning super sampling on NVIDIA graphics cards, which basically is AI upscaling. So they use their AI artificial intelligence to make the game look better and run at faster frame rates. And AMD doesn't have anything like that, except for they said that they're working on it. And now apparently it's coming out in spring. I believe it when I see it. They don't have hardware acceleration with tensor cores. So I would want to see how this exactly performs and how they're hardware accelerating it. I'm skeptical. But I was never skeptical about GeForce Now and NVIDIA reported on its first year and it turns out it was a it was a doozy of a year. Six million members, 175 million hours of gameplay, 100 million hours of multiplayer gameplay, and 16 million hours of streaming indie titles with over 800 titles. GeForce Now Honestly, in my opinion, the best streaming platform because you get PC games without having to pay for a PC makes a lot of sense. But Amazon's not giving up on theirs. They have Project Luna, which I still <laughs> have to eventually get to my video about. I just haven't been tempted to do that. Anyways, with Amazon having a brand new CEO, he actually recommitted to the idea that they are still going to be working on their video game side of things, including Amazon Game Studios, which they launched a game, by the way, in 2020. I think it was called Crucible and it didn't last very long. It wasn't a very good idea. So hopefully they don't necessarily give up on it. We'll see. Maybe they should especially with what they came out with. And Enermax doesn't appear to be giving up on their AIO coolers with them extending their warranties to five years for all Enermax AIO coolers purchased after February 1st, 2021. So that now you get 
more support. You can get a one year extended warranty if you purchase between January 1st, 2020 and January 31st, 2021. But if you purchased it before January of 2020, then you're stuck with the two years, which I mean, is almost up anyways. So, and I don't know how long a warranty would last on this, but Xpanscape creates the world's first seven screen laptop workstation. Look at this insanity, okay? Seven displays, 26 pounds, Four primary displays are 17 inch 4K, 60 Hertz. The, seven, the three auxiliary displays are seven inches and 1920 by 1200. The laptop can either be a 3950X, a 10900K, 128 gigs of RAM, an RTX 2070, that's kind of mad, but up to eight terabytes of storage. This thing is wild, all right? this Those hinges are just hangling and dangling. My goodness gracious, that is a what You can see it's like a 3D printed amalgamation of garbage going on there to make that happen. You, you can contact them in case you want one. This reminds me of the video that I did of creating a triple screen laptop to send Catlin home with. And it, uh, you know, the, even that was a, a ripe mess as far as like how stable it was. So I can only imagine what seven would be like. Yeah, there it goes. It's falling down. So seven screens, maybe. But on your screen on Google Stadia, you're not going to get Terraria anymore. As the Terraria co-creator says the Stadia version's canceled because Google canceled him for no good reason. According to the reports, they were locked out of their Google and YouTube accounts for over three weeks without any explanation and Google basically doing nothing about that, which resulted in the developer essentially saying that they're not going to be bringing Terraria to Google Stadia because they're just burning their bridges and the company will no longer work with them because working with Google Google is a liability, which somebody in our Discord brought up the point that, uh, yeah, if everything that you've ever done in your life is on Google Drive, Google Docs, and Gmail, as soon as you lose access, you kind of lose access to your life. My solution? Just don't have a life. I love it. Which I don't, which is why I'm so stupid excited over Asus announcing that they've created a way that you don't have to screw down M.2 SSDs anymore. They created a plastic latch. This gets me so friggin' excited. This is the most important thing that I've seen in years on a PC. It's so simple. You just, you flip the plastic and then it, it just, it works. And your M.2 is stuck. Genius Asus, genius. Why, why is this only happening now? Well, what's not happening now is uh, the remaster of Prince of Persia Sands of Time, which uh, the remake rather, it's got delayed indefinitely. And uh, it, uh, that's a good thing because it clearly wasn't ready to come out anytime soon. I think it was supposed to come out in January, then it got delayed for a little bit longer. And now it's just indefinitely delayed. It looked like a PS3 game. <laughs> and they were gonna launch in the PS5 era. I'm sorry, the remake wasn't very good looking. So just, just, yeah, just take your time on that. And also another set of games that is apparently delayed, I guess, is D Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 are not coming out in 2021. They're working on it, but earliest next year in case you cared about those games. And in case you care about tech news, don't you worry your sweet little bottom about it because we've got more tech news coming at you later today. The second episode of Hot News is coming, so get subscribed for that. Hit the like button on this video in case you enjoyed it. And if you want to watch a fun little experiment where I put th two external monitors on Catlin's laptop, you can check that video out over on UFD Tech. And with that being said, I'm Brett with Hot News. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, friends, in just a little bit. Cheers, bye. Hey friends, welcome to the lep lep lepus lever lefer.